Today, we're gonna do a quick tip for generative AI. And what I wanna talk about is what you should not be using generative AI for and what is the workaround. So let's talk about that today. The more we use generative AI, the more cool features we find. You know, you can get really clever with prompts, you can give it your own data. In fact, you can like copy and paste text and tables and have it do all kinds of things. But one thing that you really shouldn't be asking generative AI to do is to give you results that require something exact. So what do I mean by that? Uh, I did this test where I had names. I believe they were like first name last or last name first or whatever it is. And I asked generative, generative AI to fix it for me. I said, can you uh, take the names and convert them? And it did it for me. But it is an example of a tasks that you should actually not be asking generative AI to do. And one of the reasons for that is Gen AI has certain amount of randomness built in. There is legitimately like a random parameter that is included in generation of your answers. And that's how you can ask same question and get different results. And that's how we can control creativity uh, of generative AI. So if you wanted to, you know, write more wordy or differently, right, you can add different parameters. And so by its definition, generative AI is not exact. It, it has some randomness and it can give you different results. And if you ever asked it to do math for you, you know it can give you wrong answers because it simply doesn't do math. It's based on words. It predicts next most likely word. It's not able to do math. So sometimes you can ask it to do it and it may give you a right answer, but sometimes it can give you a wrong answer. And because of, the, because of exactly that, you don't want to give it data and say, uh, take this data and rearrange it in a certain way and give me an output. It may do it cert during certain times correctly, but then if you give it, let's say, a list of 200, maybe three or four of them will be incorrect or they'll become somehow jumbled up or have some kind of issue with it and you will never notice that problem. Another example of this would be entity extraction. It seems like a simple thing, you know, you could just say, hey, generative AI, here's a piece of text. Find me all the names in this text. And it may work and it may work really well in some cases, but then there will be other cases where it simply fails. And because of that, you may need to write additional code to get the results uh, from the, the output of the system and check it against the original text or do some kind of things like that. More work is required. Just giving it a prompt and accepting the answer as is, is not good enough. All right then, what is the solution to that? Well, if you have an exact problem, like you need to rearrange names or do math or do something like that, ask ChatGPT for the formula. So let's say you're working with Excel and you have a list of names. Ask ChatGPT to give you an Excel formula to do something. Or if you're a little bit more advanced, you can ask it to generate a Python script or something like that. So if the script doesn't work or formula doesn't work, you'll know about it right away and it'll be consistent across everything. But if you give the data to ChatGPT and have it do it, you can get random inconsistent results, which is not something that's gonna happen with the formula. It's either all gonna be wrong or it's all gonna work, most likely, unless there is some weird, you know, condition or something like that. And that's basically what I've been doing. If I need a formula, if I need some kind of data transform that's very simple, I just ask GP, ChatGPT to give me a script or a formula. That's the best way to handle it. You copy and paste it. If it doesn't work, you try it again, you do something else. But that's the way I figured out how to have ChatGPT help me uh, work with exact data. So the rain is getting stronger and mosquitoes are biting, but I'm hoping this tip helps you when you need to work with exact data and ChatGPT is needed to help you to do that. Don't forget to follow on LinkedIn, subscribe on YouTube, and I will see you on another video.